The story of the 12 Thai football players and their coach might not have turned out the way it did had it not been for a firm based half a world away. We're one of the smallest, coolest companies that most people have never heard of. Patrick Blot is CEO of Intermap Technologies, which has provided geospatial intelligence to customers for three decades now and got a call from Thai authorities about some missing kids on June 27th. Nobody made contact. Nobody knew where they were. It was a, they'd been in there for three days. Um, it was a very scary situation. They needed action really quickly. As we can give them... Intermap combines data from a variety of platforms like satellites, planes, drones, and different wavelengths to produce super high-resolution three-dimensional maps that are used during disasters and for lots of other applications. Being able to derive elevations from something that's flat is, is the trick. Many of us rely on GPS technology to find things like the nearest coffee shop. Intermap's 3D elevation data enhances the terrain maps these units are now able to provide. It's not much different, really. It's just a different environment with different stakes, obviously, and different input data is needed. Instead of looking for a coffee shop, you're trying to figure out the best way to, to rescue some young kids that are buried under a mountain. In this case, within just three hours, data from 20 sensors created a one meter resolution map that gave rescuers the situational awareness they needed to drill routes to supply food and oxygen to the trap team and gauge water flow in the Thai cave. They're the ones on the ground. They're going in the cave. They're taking the risk. They're deciding to go left or right. They're deciding if they got to widen the cave or if they got to drill a hole. If you're going to drill, it makes a big difference if you're two or three feet off. You could do more harm than good. So this kind of stuff's critical. Intermap is already well established in Asia. It sent no personnel directly to the cave. It didn't have to. It's just heartbreaking seeing all those kids stuck and just knowing that we can even maybe touch it, just put our finger on it and, and make a little bit of a difference is, is just amazing. I've got a young family at home, so I understand what those families must have been going through. Uh, gut-wrenching to imagine yourself in their place. Maps have long helped humans mitigate risk and deal with the unknown. Maps have always driven outcomes, and they're critical. And they may have made a highly complex rescue operation in Thailand a little more manageable. Henrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.